So in this example, first thing, guys, we see our two restrictions, right? So automatically, we have our restriction. So I'm just going to say restriction number one, which is said the radicand, which is right here, right? So we're going to have x minus 6 is greater than or equal to 0. And then restriction number 2 is x to the fourth plus 1 cannot equal 0. I know you guys had the squared, but we're just going to do the fourth. It's, you'll see why it's not really going to make a difference, OK? Um, so now you guys can see, though, that without really doing any math, hopefully everybody just understanding your two restrictions can, boom, get to this point. Does everybody see anybody having questions, at least getting to this point? Because now it just comes a matter of solving. x has to be greater than or equal to 6. OK, so and then here, if you subtract, you have x to the fourth um, cannot equal negative 1. Now, to undo the fourth power, you take the fourth root. You guys took the square root, which again, it doesn't matter because square root, fourth root, sixth root, tenth root, any even root, you cannot take the even root of a negative number, right? So there is no real number that you can take the even root of. Square root, you guys would have known that would have been i, right? You guys would have had square root of i. Fourth root, still can't do it. So this is undefined. There is, and think about it, guys. Think about any, is it possible to make any number? You know, we need this, to make this 0, we need to get some number raised to the fourth power to be negative 1. Is it possible to raise a number to the fourth power to get it to be negative 1? No, no real number, right? Or squared. It's, it's impossible to square a number and get it to be negative 1. Because any negative multiplied by itself is positive, right? And if you do that four times or six times, it's still going to be positive. So this, there is no restriction. There is no um, restriction here. So the only restriction we need to worry about is just the one in the numerator, because this is um, undefined. So therefore, we're just going to have 6. So x is greater than or equal to 6. So 6 is the smallest number. And if it's x is greater than, then it's going to go into infinity. Bracket parentheses. Yes, question. I didn't do the numerator. I did what's under the radical. Whenever you see a radical, you know you have to have it greater than or equal to 0. Right? That's restriction 1. Restriction 1 says a radical, the radicand, has to be greater than or equal to 0. So it doesn't matter if the radical is in the numerator or denominator. If you see a radical, you've got to do restriction number 1. Make sense? Anybody else have any other questions on that?